Hello everybody, a new beautiful day and I got time to show you how to connect TC Helicon Voice Live Play. My particular is a GTX, but this one works for any other models in this series of Voice Live Play. How to connect this guy to a computer and turn this machine in a powerful sound card, microphone, preamp effects and everything you need for a home studio for a decent recording demo and anything related to music creation and so on first we need some uh, gears you know we need some cables this one it's useful for connecting a player to the multi-track you know and start recording from there okay then of course we need a microphone with a microphone cable let's take a look here we have the microphone input we have the instrument input can be a guitar or a piano electric piano of course and we have the outputs stereo outputs and we have a headphones output here then we have the mini usb connector and of course the power supply and uh, what we need for now it's the microphone input right here I'll use this little headphones for monitoring the sound for now of course let's plug in the power and this is the USB mini connector the old I may say the old uh, generation USB it's not micro it's not USB C it's mini USB very important okay let's plug this guy in and now we should see on device manager sound video and game controller and there we are voice live play GTX it's already installed Windows 11 have the right drivers for it so it's nothing else to do okay now simply sound settings we should see here the sound card no it's not here then we go control panel sound and let's go to this tab here voice live play gtx analog connector of course we gonna enable this one perfect then recording we enable this one too and we are good to go let's see any change here sound yeah we are perfect by the way let me play something we should hear the sound in the headphones perfect it's working it's exactly what I need for now. Let's go back. The next step is opening a multi-track. It can be any kind of uh, audio recorder, multi-track recorder, uh, Audacity. You know, usually I'm using uh, Vegas. So here under options, preferences, audio devices, We'll just use the Microsoft Sound Mapper, but let's do something else. And I'm gonna find on the internet. Come here. Okay. Let's try ASEO for all. All right. So this is a special driver which brings low latency. It's a perfect piece of. Uh, software in between the sound card and the home studio and multi-track studio okay just download this install next yes i accept that we need that to avoid any latency in between the sound card and the multi-track recorder but of course you can use the windows uh, manager but i prefer this there we are. 
ASIO for all, latency, buffer, everything. Apply. That's okay. 48. Okay, we are already on 48 kilohertz. Nothing else to do but to insert a audio track. In the multitrack we give uh, instructions for recording on Voice Live GTX 1. And we should have, and we have already, as you can see on the screen, we already have uh, microphone signal. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Try not to go higher than green light on GTX. All right. Now, very simple. So the microphone is ready to to record, but we need something else. So I'm going to do another two tracks. Audio and another audio. Why? Because I'm going to use the first one and the second one for a stereo input. I'm using the auxiliary input. Let's say if you already, uh, I mean, if you don't have already a pre-recorded backup, let's say, let me find something here. Let's play this one. Obviously we have signal there. We can check that on the headphones. So we are ready to record these two guys here it's left and right and um, we push record and we push play that's a bb king the thrill is gone it's working Okay, that's enough. We have the first track recorded. I think I have a problem with these little headphones. Let me bring something uh, serious here. Yeah, everything is fine now. Yeah, it was a problem of connector or something. Sounds good. You'll say why I'm using headphones, because we're going to record some microphone, voices, vocals, stuff like that. Obviously, I need the lyrics there. So I need to get ready to have some uh, microphone, microphone recording. I already have a patch here. Okay, do we have a... Okay, we have sound there. The microphone is ready to record. I have some effects here. Let's take this out, you know. Let's make it, uh, let's make it as clear as possible. How's this sound now? Yeah, now it's very, 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 very clear. Oh yeah. We don't need any voices for now. What else? Effect level. No. Out. Delay reverb. No, not for now. No, out, shift, drive. Okay, I think we are good to go now. Okay. Oh, I need a mono. Just one channel. Let's go. The thrill is gone. The thrill is gone away. The thrill is gone. Okay, 
so now we got this ready to go let me have a guitar track the microphone it's done that's my little electro acoustic it's not exactly gear for this session but i don't have another one in the area okay headphones now we need a cable for the guitar input okay so the guitar is ready it's hooked up let me have another uh audio track in fact two of them because i want to put them in stereo let's start recording let's go Okay, so that was the guitar track done. We can raise the volume here to a certain level. And of course, now we can work in the multi-track having uh, effects, having uh, whatever you like. Let me just have a simple, a very simple reverb for the voice. That's nice, perfect. Don't need more than this. Okay, so that's it for today. That's how we can use this guy as a sound card for input, for output. That's very clear. It's very easy to be done. It's working like any other normal sound card. But the good point is that we can return everything and process all these tracks inside the machine. So we don't need any effects from the multi-track. All we have to do is to re-loop the things inside like using a hardware effect connected to the multi-track okay i hope it's useful i'll be back with some more and um, if you consider please subscribe please like and uh, don't hesitate to comment i'll be happy to answer your question of course be creative and have fun bye bye